Hey guys, Al Pooling here from Party Time DJ Services with yet another active speaker review. This is actually my first speaker review of 2019, and it's a quick one, as I'm actually in the back of the the Long McQuaid uh, parking lot here in Sudbury, just uh, returning these. As you know, Long McQuaid rents a whole lot of uh, gear, speakers, mics. I actually just rented a fog machine a few days ago. One thing they don't rent is uh, Mackie thump speakers. So for, the be for being able to do this uh, review, I would just like to send out a big thank you to Neil from uh, Long McQuaid here in Sudbury, who let me uh, test out these speakers, as they are one of the more most popular um, affordable active loudspeakers out there along with the Alto TS series and the Behringers and all that. So a lot of, a lot of fellow Jesus I know actually use these and uh, they like them a lot. I personally am not a fan of uh, cheap speakers that don't uh, have much warranty or customer service, but I was really curious about these since apparently they, they sound really good and they perform really well. So I got a chance to test them out uh, last weekend. Uh, my wife's cousin had a 30th birthday uh, in a small hall, roughly 40 people or so, so I was able to give these guys a good test. Uh, just to give you a quick impression of them, but first uh, we'll just look at the, the features quickly. So Thump, built in a two-channel mixer, 1300 watts, which is actually a peak figure. These are 650 watts, I'm not sure if it's continuous or RMS, but uh, anyway. Uh, Class-leading bass, four speaker modes. So basically, have a quick look at the back of the speaker. Of course, power section, power cable. You have a quick uh, quick view of what the different speaker modes do, at least gives you an idea. Two channels, a combination quarter inch XLR, uh, with uh, the two input channels having uh, gains where you can set them anywhere from line level to mic level. You also have a mix out. As for the speaker modes, you have music, live, monitor, and sub. Music basically just gives a boost to the low end and top end. Live, I, I noticed that it cuts out some of the low frequency. Other than that, I don't really notice too much. Monitor mode apparently reduces some of the uh, mid frequencies to let you get more gain before feedback. And the sub mode is when you're using the with the subwoofer for the low frequency, so basically it'll apply some, something like a 100 hertz uh, high pass filter. You also have a uh, button to turn on and off the LED light in front. That's actually right there. It's a little green light right below the Mackie stick figure dude. So how did these guys sound and perform? They actually, for their price, you have to keep their price in mind because they are uh, $379 retail here in Canada, which is a very low price, definitely uh, comparable to, as mentioned, the Alto TS and some Behringer models as well. Very decent looking cabinet, very plasticky. <laughs> it just feels very, very plasticky overall. Uh, but that's to be expected at this price point. And it is, uh, they are actually very lightweight, somewhere around uh, 30 pounds a piece or so. So you can actually, the handles are actually pretty well designed. You can gar grab them on the side or at the top. And they are very lightweight. You can actually put one, one hand in each of these top pockets here and just grab them and go. So that's one really good thing. They are lightweight. They do look good. And a lot of you will be happy to know that they do have very decent bass response as well. I believe they go down to 56 uh, hertz, that's minus or plus 3 decibels, very respectable. In the music mode they do have that uh, that boost, low frequency boost that you're seeing in more and more speakers these days that you know gradually disappears as the volume goes up, which makes these sound really really good uh, out of the box. So most users I find that the, they just say they sound a little bit uh, mid scooped, which is you know typical from speakers these days. But I found the thumps particularly more mid scooped than others I've heard, and I did compare them to many speakers I have at home, and uh, that did confirm that they are very mid scooped. But most users will be very happy with the sound out of the box. They sound like most DJs will uh, EQ or that smiley face EQ. I did find them a little bit, um, I'll say, boxy sounding. As uh, the mids really, they do seem to lack in the mid range. I'd say anywhere from uh, 1k to, to f I don't know 6k or so. They do seem to la lack that uh, that vocal clarity. But you know, at, the, at 379 bucks a, a piece, you can only expect so much. But most users will be very happy with them. I thought they were very impressive for their price, uh, out of the box for general music uh, reinforcement. The main problem I think with the uh, Mackie Thumps is the Mackie name. Many a long time ago, Mackie was a very reputable manufacturer of loudspeakers. They actually were worked in combination with uh, RCF and produced what is probably the, the first quality active speaker uh, loudspeaker out there, which was the Mackie SRM 450. Uh, since then, unfortunately, uh, and that, Mackie used to produce some really good mixers as well, and they were uh, well regarded in the uh, pro audio world. Unfortunately, many years ago. Uh, 
Mackie was uh, purchased by Loud Technologies, and since then we've seen a very big, fairly dramatic downfall in terms of quality and uh, customer service. I've read so many posts about failing uh, active subs from Mackie and uh, just speakers and really lack of service. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind when you're buying a set of these. You're going to get a lot for your money, but if ever something goes wrong with them, unfortunately, the customer service after the sale is really, really bad. And uh, you'll, you'll have to pay for shipping to ship your unit back. And getting service might be a lot more trouble than you, you think. So that's my only warning about the Thumb 12As. Other than that, and other than uh, a lack of vocal clarity, they actually do very well. Uh, Output-wise, they do get very loud. As mentioned, once if I use them in music mode myself, uh, I did like the sound of them. My one big problem was when using the microphone, I tried to do some karaoke. They did okay, but you do notice that lack of uh, mid-range clarity. So if that's important to you, maybe try to test some other speakers. Close to their price range, uh, I would recommend the Yorkville YX15P, and actually I have a, review, a newer review coming up of those. I own those for a few years, and while they're just a 200 watt RMS uh, powered speaker, in my opinion they sound better balanced than uh, the Thumps, and they have more a better uh, mid-range quality. And the compression driver in there is actually really good quality as well, and you get Yorkville's two year, no questions asked, warranty, so to me that means a lot. You'll pay a bit more. But if you just want a set of speakers that's your first, uh, you're a beginner DJ and you just want to, you know, blast some tunes and you want some nice low frequency out of the box, a good sounding cabinet, then maybe these are for you. But just be aware that uh, you might have some trouble if ever you need some service on them. But other than that, I was really impressed for the price. Uh, so as mentioned, thank you very much, Neil, from Long Equate for letting me take these uh, out for a test spin. I had lots of fun. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free. I'm Zal Pooley from Party Time DJ Services.